KSBW High School Playbook Blitz. Week four of High School Playbook Blitz, teams trying to hit their stride now before things tighten up and we head into league play. That's next week. We're going to start off tonight with my doors playing the Marina Mariners at home tonight. The run game, that's what's going to get it started for Monterey tonight. This is Bishop Ward. Doesn't like his options there. He bounces up outside. He's going to go all the way to the pylon just short. Doors are on the goal line now, setting up for a score. This is Evan Charles running into the end zone. He's going to get the score. Monterey liking the run game. They're going to stick with it. Here comes number seven. This is Miguel Luna weaving through defenders, looking like a young Jonathan Stewart out there just trucking people. He's going to go all the way down for the score. Tordor's opening up a big lead. This is in the second quarter. But Marina didn't give up. The Mariners are hanging in there. Check this out. Monterey kicks it off. Marina's back there to field the kick about the five yard line will leander showing off the field vision weaving getting all the way downfield that's a 95 yard return for marina in the end though it was the doors they win 40 to 22 that's their first win of the year i'm gonna head over to aptos now palma and the mariners facing off tonight this is an awesome matchup between these two teams both playoff teams nice return for the chieftains Going to go all the way down to the 35-yard line. As you know, good field possession normally means going to get some good scores. This is Emilio Martinez from Palma punching it in for the touchdown. Martinez, he can play. Aptos, they prefer to air it out. Gavin Guam puts this one right on the money. That's a 37-yard touchdown pass to Joey Riccobona. So we know these two offenses can play, but Palma's defense wants their shout out. There's a sack from Drew Dahlman. Following in his dad, former 49er Chris Dahlman's footsteps. Drew's already committed to Stanford. Palma, though, bringing the pressure. Glom drops back and connects on another deep ball. That's to Riccobona again. Those two have chemistry. The Mariners wrapping up Martinez on this run. But I got to tell you, Martinez, absolute stud. He torched them tonight. Four touchdowns for him, way more than 100 yards. Palma wins this game 38 to 20. Over to Alisal. Two great warriors facing off. Trojans on one side, Aztecs on the other. And now we all know who would win that historic matchup. It's going to be the Aztecs. Soledad. They're driving down the field. This is Andy Hernandez dropping back. He connects with Robbie Santa Ana. Santa Ana dives to the pylon. Ref calls him short. So the next play, Hernandez has to take it in for himself. He's Twisting, eventually gets in there. Touchdown. Soledad leading early in this game. Out comes Alisal, Raul Garnicia finds Julio Galanea. Look at him breaking tackles, going down the sideline. Looks like he's gonna, no, they take him down. About a 25 yard pass there. The Trojans putting together a nice drive, but they couldn't walk away with points. So Soledad gets their first win of the year. It's a shutout victory for them, 23 points to nothing. Grizzlies against Bruins. Some bear on bear crime in Greenfield. Also have a lot of green jerseys in this game. I know you guys are just trying to make this difficult to, for me. Pajaro, they're going to get on the board first in this game once they get going. There we go. They're going to take a run up the left hand sideline. In for the score. That's Hector Ramirez bouncing off of defenders there. Greenfield drops back. Actually, I lied to you guys. This is Hector Ramirez. Bouncing outside. Check out the stiff arm. He's going to go all the way down for the score. That's an 81-yard touchdown run for Hector Ramirez. Greenfield, they're going to keep driving down the field. Some nice short completions. Some West Coast offense going there. That leads them to the victory. The Bruins come out on top 25-21. to Over in Scotts Valley, they're taking on the undefeated Seaside Spartans. Hey, girl. How's it going? You look like it's freezing cold in Scotts Valley. Scott Scotts Valley quarterback Tyler Stowe rolling to his right, connects on a pass to Carson Spence. Seaside pulls him down. Same drive, we're going to see some awesome tackling from Seaside. Look at this. Boom, in the backfield. They're all just flying to the ball. The Falcons, though, they did find a way to score. Josh Askew throwing himself into a pile of Spartans. He gets the touchdown. 
Seaside, they're gonna get the ball back. They start to go to work. This is Deshaun Davis running hard, pulling defenders along with him. And this was a great game. Both teams playing aggressive, taking it all the way down to the wire. Scott Valley's gonna hold on for the win. Final score there is 24 to 20. Seaside getting their first loss of the season. Heading to Watsonville. Little coin toss action to get things started. Can't tell you who won that, but I know who won the game. Watsonville rolling over the SoCal Knights. Had some trick plays in this game. This is Matthew Barcello with the reverse going in for the touchdown. Evan Delosier wants one for himself. He's gonna plow forward and get a score. SoCal trying to figure out how to get things going. They drop back, there's a nice pass there. Connecting towards the sidelines. They take one from Watsonville, try to do the reverse. That's swallowed up. The Knights are gonna have to punt. Watsonville blocks that one, scooped up. And they're gonna get the ball back. Huge victory, victory for the Wildcats. 49-7 to seven is your final score there. Back down to Salinas, the Alvarez Eagles playing host to Elk Grove from Sacramento County. Not a fun night for Alvarez. To their credit though, this is a phenomenal team from Elk Grove. They're number nine in the state of California, number 74 in the nation. So props to the Eagles for taking this game, giving it their all for all four quarters. Elk Grove is gonna win. That is a 56 to nothing victory for Elk Grove. Monta Vista Mustangs playing host to Trinity Christian from Texas. Trinity traveling a long way for this game. They have to punt, it's a bad snap. Punter picks it up, that's a mistake. Monta Vista strips the ball, Holden Lucan. Short trip for the score. Mustangs get the ball back a little later. Here's Cody Peresa. Likes what he sees, goes straight up the gut. Running through defenders and in for the touchdown, about 31 yards there. Monta Vista with a big lead. They can play some defense too. Mustangs knock that ball loose. Trinity did fall on it. Mustangs just dominating on both sides of the field in this game. Monta Vista wins 37 to 14. Santa Cruz Cardinals flying south for a game with North Salinas. The Vikings going in with a head of steam. That's Eric Delgadillo going in. Vikings with a big lead. That makes it 34 to seven. Santa Cruz comes right back though. Looks like a 70 yard bomb there. That's Nathan Friedman pulling it in. So Santa Cruz showing they can have a little bit of life in this game. North Salinas though, they can pass the ball too. That is a huge connection. Timothy Burkhardt connects with Richard Reyes. Same drive. Vikings have the ball. They're gonna drop back. Airing it out again. Look at that. That one's going in for the score. North Salinas with a comfortable victory here tonight. They win 41 to 13. Heading over to Hollister. There's the Hay Baylor cheerleaders with our high school playbook blitz football. And I have to show you this awesome play. Here's Hollister. That's Hunter Nye running with a head of steam, but he collides with the referee. He's short of the goal line. Referee's okay. Hollister takes it in for a score on the next play. That's Nye finishing with the score. Later on, Hollister has to punt. Wilcox fields it at the two yard line. Check out this return, just weaving back and forth. Ooh, nice little spin move there. He's going down the sideline, but Hollister catches him by the shoelaces. That's the only highlight, though, that we have from Wilcox. Hay Baylor's in control of this game, dominating on both sides of the field. They win 45 to 30. And here's a look at tonight's away games. The Live Oak Acorns, my favorite mascot, win a high-scoring game over Gilroy. San Lorenzo Valley falling to Kings Academy, 36 to 17. Close game between the Salinas Cowboys and Milpitas. That's a very good game for Salinas. Milpitas has a great squad up there, nine to three. All field goals in that game. Stevenson came to play tonight. They beat Lindbrook of San Jose. That was 49 to nothing. And the Christopher Cougars falling short on the road. They lose 39 to nine. Now, if you missed any of the scores or the highlights, you can find them on our website. That's ksbw.com.